if you've recently upgraded your VIT application from VIT 4 to VIT 5, or you've wrote up your own VTJS application, you might encounter this NPM warning here when you run NPM run dev. I'm going to show you why you're getting this error and how to fix it, because eventually this warning will become an error. To understand the root cause of the issue, we have to examine how Node.js implement the exportation and importations of JavaScript modules. The current standard is to use the import and export statements to import and export external JavaScript, JavaScript file, just like in standard client-side JavaScript. But for a while, Node.js supported two models, the legacy common JS or CJS, which require the require statement to import, import a file. As you can see here, this common JS pattern, or re which required the keyword require, has been deprecated in Node.js. If we were to follow this link to the V documentation, we can see that Vite is mimicking what Node.js is doing in terms of modules importation. You will also find Vite's instruction for how to up update uh, this. And once again, currently it's a warning, but in the next version of Vite, Vite 6, this will become an error since it's, it will be removed. There are two ways to fix this issue. One way is to go to the vite.config.js file if you are using JavaScript instead of TypeScript and change the extension from .js to .mjs, meaning module JavaScript, so that the node engine can specifically read the extension. And if you restart the server, you can see that the warning has disappeared. The other option is to go into your package.json file and add the property and value as type module, save, restart your server, and as you can see, the warning is gone. My preference is to keep this package.json file as clean as possible. However, I prefer to go with this approach here rather than changing the file extension uh, because it just leads to confusion uh, if somebody on your team isn't familiar with the issue and they're gonna wonder what the heck is MJS extension. Oh, by the way, if, you, if you're using, if you're using um, um, TypeScript, all you have to do is add MTS. Okay, let's say that uh, this is a TypeScript file. You just give it the MTS extension. But again, I prefer to go with the type module approach because it'll keep your code file in your project clean and um, Anybody that uh, is setting up this project locally on your team can look at the JSON file, package.json file, and see this line here. Say, okay, yeah, so we we are specifically specifying the um, the importation model for Node.js and for Vite. So again, this is just a warning for now, but in the future it will become an error. So it's best to just handle this issue now. Okay, if you enjoyed this type of video, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time with some uh, great content. Bye-bye.